Hi everyone, my name is Don. I'm a general surgery resident and welcome to my tutorial on the one-handed knot tie. So the most important thing to keep in mind when tying this knot is that it's not a fancy knot. Uh, it's not a sailing knot or figure eight knot. It's really just the same knot you're doing when you're tying your shoelaces or uh, tying up your garbage bags and you're just doing it in a more consistent, fast and secure way. So with that in mind, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so to start off, this is my favorite setup, which is just a little desk clip on my desk with a random piece of string. I'm using yarn. You should use something that is disposable just so you throw it away and not uh, have to undo it like a shoelace. So when starting off, you always want to keep in mind which end is going to be your needle end and which end is going to be your free end like a real suture. So in this case, I'm demonstrating that this is like the needle going through which would simulate this action over here with the needle going through. So then you have the free end on the other side, which means that this hand here is gonna be the one that's simulating holding the needle grasper, just like this. So it's important to keep that in mind because in the real life, there's gonna always be one free end and one needle end and uh, you don't want to treat them both equally. So you're going to start off with the free end in your left hand. Highly recommended, even if you're left-handed or right-handed, start with your left hand. The first part is to have the axis in mind. I think it's very important that you see it as a forward and backwards or away and towards rather than a left to right. This will be easier because when the wounds are not facing this direction you're used to, having a forwards and backwards uh, axis is better. This is gonna be the grip, holding the string in between the middle finger and the thumb, and then the index finger just underneath it, making some tension like that. This is the first type of knot out of two. Then you're gonna be contacting the other string, between your index finger and the taut string. Pulling away that string you contacted to then encounter the free end again with the nail of uh, your index finger. And you're gonna be pulling that free end through with the fingernail. This is quite knacky at first and you're gonna have to play a bit with the tensions to see how uh, that works exactly. But it's easier than it seems. Here's a closer look at what exactly I mean. You want to have the free end between your thumb and your index in that direction. Make sure you're in that right direction and then the index having some tightness on that string. You're going to go and contact the other string between your index and the free end. And then push it over a little and grab the free end and twist it underneath so that it loops inside and you can grab it back and then you're going to be pulling that free end towards you. So for the index style knot, you're definitely going to want to pull towards you and you can ingrain that in your mind that when you're doing the index one, you're always going to pull it towards you. The second style of knot is with the middle fingers or with the other, with the rest of the fingers. Sometimes the grip is going to be taut like this when you're holding it the same way but then you're putting your middle fingers under everything and it's kind of confusing because the string is going up and down and it's way easier to just do it intuitively and hold the string upside down like this as you're starting uh, from the suture from towards you. So this is the finger knot or the middle finger knot, whatever you want to call it. And so this is the grip holding it with your index and your thumb and then your fingers in between like that, which are going to go between the free end and uh, the other end of the string. You're going to contact with your finger, again, between your middle finger and the free end. So at that intersection of the middle finger and the free end. And then you're going to go and grab the, with your middle finger curving over. So 
So there is an easy way to remember which knot you're supposed to do between the finger knot and the index finger knot. And that's to view your fingers as an instrument in the instrument tie. As you can remember, you're putting the instrument between the two strings without any crossing over. So if you were to do your index finger there, it would cross. But if you were to put your middle finger and your uh, ring finger in the middle, it's kind of like the instrument tie. I know it sounds confusing, but do a few of them and you'll understand that this works. And then you're just gonna pull it through, just like you did in the first knot. Pull it through with your middle finger and away from you. So when you're doing the middle finger knot, you're always gonna pull the free end away from you. And then you're back in the initial position to do the index knot. Again, index knot means you're pulling towards, away, towards, and you're alternating both ways and styles of knots. Here I'm showing that for speed, you can always prepare your string before even pulling. You're preparing your string for the next knot before even pulling. And this is how you build some speed and make sure that both hands are always alternating directions when you're pulling to make the most tight and square knots. Up to speed, it can look something like this. Obviously, this is for practice. There's never a time where you're gonna be doing 20 knots. You're probably gonna do more uh, five to seven or even 10 sometimes depending on the type of suture. But uh, to practice, you can go as far as you like uh, and then the string gets shorter. And there you have it, the one-handed tie. Don't hesitate to go back and watch this video, pause at any time to see the positioning, make sure you're doing everything right, um, and because it couldn't be confusing at first. This knot in general is learned faster than the two-handed uh, knot, which I'll be showing in the next video.